Flash Fill is a great new tool that is available from Excel 2013 onwards. Now to see if you've got it, basically if your top here is this darker green, then you've probably got Flash Fill, but the easiest way to check is go to Data, and over here you'll have a button called Flash Fill. So what does it do? It gives you the ability to look at some data. So for example, if we look at this data, we can see there's a problem with it. There's no space. We need to put a space in there. So we could go through and manually put spaces in. Or what we can do is adjacent to that, that column, I'm going to put what I want to see. So you'll see I've just typed it in with a space in between. I highlight that column and notice it's adjacent, column A, column B. I go to data, and when I go to flash fill, you'll see it quickly and automatically does what you've done here. So you'll see that they've all now at the correct place got a space. So what Excel is doing is looking at what you've typed, looking at what's next door, and then if it can find some sort of a reason why you've done that, it then applies it to all of these. And in this case, you can see it's done a pretty good job. They all seem to have worked out. The nature of this tool, though, is that it is programming by example. So again, what we've got here, I've got a first name, a middle name, and a surname. What I've decided is I want to create a single column. I want to have the full first name. I want to have the initial of the middle name and the full surname. So over here I'm going to go and type what I want to see. So that's what I want to see. I highlight it. Before I click Flash Fill, just notice here that what we've done here, it's got a middle name, but some of these don't. So let's see what Excel is going to do. I'm going to say Flash Fill. Notice that it's done what it could and where it doesn't know what to do, it leaves a blank. So what it's saying here is it knows what to do in this situation when there's something here. Just take the letter out and put a full stop. But what must it do here? All you need to do is go to that blank cell and tell it and type what you expect to see. And you'll see when I click enter, watch what happens to these cells down here. It then applies that rule to these cells. So what you need to realize about Flash Fill is the more examples you give it, the better it will do. So when you do the first one, if it doesn't quite get it right, do another one, write it out, highlight the lot, and then push Flash Fill. As you can see here in the little pop-up, if you want the short code for it, you do Control-E. So you would highlight all of this, and you go Control-E.